Music in Vancouver, it's a new market, it's growing. You got D2D playing in the back. Yeah. Uh, it's a fusion of everything now. Yeah. There's a lot of people out. Hip, hip hop is very big here. World music is getting very big over here. The fusion of different instruments is getting very big here. And it's very vibrant in Vancouver. It's a growing industry. And it's at this precise moment, the way I look at it is with the right exposure. Yeah. Vancouver, I would say, is doing better in terms of more freshness than the UK and India now. I would still I look at it. Interesting. It's better than that. Why do you feel that way? It's just fresh. Yeah. Vancouver music in UK comes down to a handful of producers that churn out the same thing. Uh, every band goes to these producers, hence the same sound. Any DJ who wants to be a producer goes to the same studios, same sound. Go to India, same thing. It, every, these countries have got their own established studios, established producers, and everybody tends to go back to the same people to, to go for that sound. Whereas what we do here is because we don't have these producers, we rely on what we are, who we are as, as musicians. So we pull the best out of each other, out of who we are. I think the Vancouver sound is very traditional. I'm very like Bindufai, you know, dull and dumbi and bass, that's it. Uh, and, and it's basically really raw. I find it really raw. I still think, um, you know, there's so much more development that needs to happen in Canada in general, not just Vancouver, as compared to the UK scene, because I lived in the UK for about five, six years um, after living in Vancouver. And um, I think that, you know, it's progressing in the right direction. And I'm really like happy the fact that now you've got a pedigree of Punjabi Pangra music history that's outside of Punjab, that, you know, I mean, like, you've got Pangra, UK Pangra, or, you know, um, international, whatever you want to call it, Pangra, dating back to the 70s, early 70s, and uh, that, that was created outside of Punjab, and I think that's amazing, and, and kids that are, like, 15 to, like, you know, in their early 20s now can go through the history now of uh, Punjabi Pangra music uh, and uh, relate to it you know, the way, same way I related to it.